So why throw away when you can repurpose? What I'm talking about is furniture that you've got in your house that has aged ever so slightly. It's been laying in the corner for many a year already, but it needs a new look. So today we're fixing up this old TV unit, which stood vertically. What we're gonna do is give it a flip, putting a glass shelf inside of it and putting modern caster wheels on this unit. It's just fairly simple. And we're gonna use a beautiful chalk paint that will just give it that extra special pop. So first things first, we're gonna to have to strip this unit down to its bare minimum. So now with everything removed from this piece of furniture, time to have it sanded down. So I'm using an 80 uh, grit sandpaper. I'm gonna give it a light sanding, remember lightly, because this is veneer wood. You don't wanna go too far down, otherwise you get down to the chipboard. So just give it a light sanding inside and out before painting. So the unit looks fantastic. It's sanded down, ready for paints. But before we get to the paint part, we need to make a couple of holes in this unit. The first set of holes is for the floating glass shelf. Now we need to put pins in place in order to keep that shelf in place. In order to help us with that, so I've uh, got the system. So this Craig shelf pin jig, which is pre-cost holes in there. What we're gonna do is drill through those holes and it's gonna line up our shelf nicely so we can put those pins in place to hold up the uh, glass shelf. The second lot of holes we're gonna make is for all the caster wheels. That'll be on the base of the unit. So let's get cracking. So the holes are done on this side, now do the same for the other side. So the holes are made now for the floating shelf. The next thing we have to do is make the guide holes for the caster wheels. Holes are made now for the caster wheels. This is a good opportunity now to put your caster wheels in place because you won't be painting the bottom of the unit. Exciting time now, time for paints. And I've chosen this Rustolian chalk paint, great color for this unit. And it's a fast drying latex paint. Great to use, easy to use, because you need about four hours between each coat. And we're gonna do about three coats in total. So have a look at this, great product for wood. Easy to put on as well, you don't need an undercoat. But I do suggest that you do use a top coat, a protective top coat for this unit. Because it's high traffic, you might bump it every now and again. You don't want to chip it. So use the protective top coats from Rustolium as well. Here's a handy tip, guys. If you don't want to throw away your paint tray afterwards and just waste a lot of money, you can reuse it over and over again. All you need to do is put it inside any old plastic bag. There you go pour the paint in there and you can use this paint tray over and over and over again. Well, we're almost at the end of our project. All that's left to do now is put our shelf supports in place. This is the shelf supports that holds up the glass. Talking about the glass, Boulders has got a fantastic service, a glass cutting service. All shapes, sizes, thicknesses, they'll do it for you in store. So make use of that service. Five minutes, they'll cut it and you're out of the store again. A fantastic service indeed. So let's put this in.
There we go. Another project completed. Get to boulders, get it done. Everything I used in this clip is available at your local boulders. For more tips and information, visit our website, our social media links, or check out our YouTube channel.